All right, today we're going to learn how to optimize an image for your website. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the image we're going to be editing. And um, let me go into the folder and I'll just show you how big this is. So here's the before shot. And this, as you can see, the dimensions are 8,000 wide and 12 megabytes. And that is a very large image for a website. Image optimization will make this smaller in file size as well as dimensions, but it won't change the quality of the image, which will mean your website's going to load faster. This image you would not want to put on your website. This would bog it down. OK, so optimize, optimizing an image for your website. First of all, we're just going to go to uh, pixlr.com. This is a free online photo editor, pixlr.com here. And you'll usually get a choice between using the advanced or the what they call the playful um, editor. I always use the advanced one. There's more tools. It's more intuitive. And actually, in this instance, it doesn't matter which one you use because what we're going to do is so simple, um, it won't make a difference. It's the exact same steps. So let's go ahead and just open up the advanced editor. And the first thing they're going to want us to do is select our image. So we're going to open an image. And there's our image. We're going to go ahead and double click her. And right away, it's telling you this image is very large. And they want you to do an immediate crop right away. They give you three choices. We're just going to pick the middle one. We're actually going to go and make this a web version, but we're going to do the full version here, the full HD, not the ultra, um, so that I can show you how to change the dimensions quickly and easily. OK, there's our image. And what we're going to do is we're simply just going to go up to File, Save. We're not even going to edit or change anything because we can change all the dimensions here. So right away, they've already cropped it, right? They've cropped it to 1920 by 1280, which is actually the standard screen resolution of a laptop. Um, and, you know, that's fine, and that, that would work. And you can see right here, it's already down to 438 kilobytes as opposed to 8 megabytes. Now, we're going to change this just a little bit smaller because we don't need it to be the full width of a laptop. We're going to go ahead and change this to a very common 1280. And... Now the file size is down to 230. We're going to take the file size down just a little bit more. We're going to make it a medium quality. You see it went down to 70%. And now we're at 121 kilobytes. I always suggest using JPEG. That compression format is usually the, the best quality with the lowest file size. You can try a PNG, but not really necessary unless you are using something with a transparent background. So keep it as a JPEG. I've changed the quality to 7, which is 70%, which is the medium quality. And I've downsized this from 1920, which was our import size, to 1280. And we are going to go ahead and download this. And we will just call this after. After. And put it in that folder. All right, so let's take a look at this. We're going to go into the folder. And you're going to see the, um, the before shot again, 8,000 pixels wide, 12 megabytes. That, that would take a long time to load. New one, 1,280 pixels wide, 121 kilobytes. So let's see if we can see a difference here. Let me open up. We're going to open up the before shot. There is the before. You can see up here. I'm going to click the button. Watch, watch close. I'm going to click right now. Watch. It's it's barely perceptible the quality difference. This is the after shot. It's it's like a hundred times smaller. Let's do that again. So this is the after. Here comes the before. It's very subtle. It's not going to make a difference, especially because people are watching it on their phones, they're watching it on laptops. It's imperceptible for the most part. The difference um, and the file size is much better. So this is the one, the after shot is the one you're going to put on your website. This will keep your site running smooth and fast and looking good. And uh, it'll keep all your visitors happy. All right, folks. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe while you're down there. Thank you.